Hey, it's Jeff Kanata coming at you with the newest, latest, best mini talking about Rogue One, a Star Wars story. New Star Wars movie. We're going to get a new Star Wars movie every year, it seems. And if they're like this, oh my God, I'm going to be a happy boy indeed. This is an amazing movie. This is a phenomenal Star Wars movie. Here we are in the future where Star Wars movies can come out all the time and be awesome. And they don't even have to have anything to do with the Skywalkers. It's a joy. Star Wars story. So this is, uh, this is different, right? It's amazing what you can do when you've got a standalone story, when you're not trying to set up a narrative that carries over multiple films. I loved episode seven. I have some problems with it, as I'm sure many of you do as well. Felt a little slavish to the structure of A New Hope. But man, Abrams can cast and he can create character moments. Like the, the characters in episode seven are delightful. And that job of that movie was to create characters that would endure over at least one trilogy, maybe more, right? That's what that the movie had to do. Rogue One has a completely different job. It has the job to create a story from A to B to C and tell you that tale. And this is exactly what you want out of a prequel. My God, if only the, the episodes one, two, and three could have done what this movie does, which is what? Make the movies to which they are prequels better. Enrich the viewing experiences of those films. How? Filling out those stories, the throwaway line from A New Hope when we're talking about the Death Star and we're talking about how those plans were procured, that it was, you know, a very dangerous mission to say the least. Now when I watch A New Hope, I'm gonna lit I'm gonna think about the story of these characters. And these characters are interesting, they're fun, they're funny, they're vibrant, they're uh, diverse. They have uh, wonderful qualities, and we're filling out the Star Wars universe. There's more planets in the first 20 minutes of Rogue One than in all of Episode 7, and they're different. They don't feel like a Tatooine redux. They don't feel like another Hoth. They feel interesting and rich, and they make the universe feel bigger rather than smaller. That was one of my biggest problems with Episodes 1, 2, and 3, is that we're constantly bumping into all these characters we already know, like this universe is really tiny. Rogue One makes the universe feel even bigger and, and more vibrant and more interesting and vast. And I'll tell you what else it does. It puts the war in Star Wars. It really makes war feel like war and not feel like, uh, you know, um, some kind of easy thing, you know? It, that's kind of a that's kind of a double-edged sword, right? Because you have this fantasy world in Star Wars that where war is kind of fun and exciting and thrilling. And I think Rogue One, especially in the political climate we have today, where you know we are at war, we we go into places where people wear robes and do sabotage things and blow up stuff and try to prevent you know mining from happening, which is what's happening in this movie. There are, this is an allegory, as the best science fiction is, and I think as, as Star Wars only sometimes was, right? Here, I think it really is, is a little bit deeper, but it doesn't skimp on the fun. It doesn't skip on the excitement. The, the action scenes are thrilling. There is X-Wing battles that rival the best of the series. There are characters that we really love and root for and have a great time. And it's proof that the Star Wars universe is robust enough that you don't have to have Jedis everywhere to be fun. Like, there's there are enough corners of this universe that we can mine for stories. I'm so encouraged that this is finally proof. I mean, I know we've had video games and novels and all kinds of stuff that have shown that the, the universe, comic books, shown that the universe has lots of stories to tell. But cinematically, we've always been linked to the Skywalkers, right? It's been their tale. And I think here is proof that we can make great stories, even standalone films, one story that has a, a complete arc. And that is going to be an awesome experience for Star Wars fans. You don't have to have Skywalkers. You don't have to have Jedi. You can tell these stories that... Uh, are about other parts of that universe and they can be just as compelling and just as is worthwhile so much fun stuff the the tapestry of the world seeing that sort of beach 
tropical uh, experience with with uh, stormtroopers in it and battles. That is a cool thing. Like, this movie is shot beautifully. It's it's cast really well. The the all of the the cast is is fantastic. You kind of create this ragtag group of people, and it does an amazing thing, right? It 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 fills in gaps and makes the story better. It erases a big problem that logically that one would have with uh with how you know how can you build a death star with such a with such a uh obvious flaw it 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 explains that and it explains so much more about what it's like to be a a part of the rebellion and it grounds it and it makes it real and have real stakes um i loved this movie i think as a film, it's better than Episode Seven. I think Episode Seven does what it does very, very well, and has a is a movie I really enjoy. But this is one of the best Star Wars movies, bar none. It is, it is beautiful, exciting, funny, fun. It's everything you want. I could watch it again right now. In fact, I can't wait to watch it again. I think you're gonna love it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I'm, you know. Loving hearing uh, the fact that we got we got Star Warses that are great, you know? We don't have to be worried about Star Wars. It feels like putting it in the hands of these talented writers, putting it in the hands of these talented directors, it's really going to make the series flourish, and I couldn't be happier about that as a Star Wars nut. All right, guys. Talk to you soon.